There are times where you may feel discouraged. Things may not go according to plan. However, you don't have to stay in that place of discouragement. And we will show you how to get out of it today on the Soul Journey Project. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. This is Kiana. And this is Andrew. And welcome to, to the, the Soul, Soul Journey, Journey Project. Project. Here at the Soul Journey Project, we provide education, inspiration, and motivation on your journey through life. Let's welcome to another excursion of the Soul Journey Project. We are so thankful that you decided to join us today mm -hmm. for another great video. So today we're going to talk about discouragement, as Kiana mentioned in the introduction. Discouragement, disappointment, is a, they are very real things that we have to deal with in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so today we wanted to discuss some strategies to help you overcome discouragement and disappointment when they inevitably show up for whatever reason. Right. So to start off, I think it's important to first understand well, where does discouragement and disappointment come from. Mm -hmm. And it may not be exactly what you think. Discouragement and disappointment primarily come from our own expectations. Right. And to be more accurate, we should say our expectations not being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Right? Things not playing out the way we think they should right. or should have. And when that does not happen, we can get discouraged. Mm -hmm. Whether we verbalized or just kept it on the inside, what our expectations were, mm -hmm. we had one. We always have them. We always have them. Mm -hmm. And when those expectations are not met, we often feel anger, sadness, discouragement, things like that. Mm -hmm. Right, we're in a generation nowadays where we want everything now. We want it quick, fast, and right now. You know, we, we throw things in the microwave so we can have it quick and nuke it really fast versus using the oven as often or the slow cooker, which is really more what life is about. You know, I'm sure you've heard it said, if there's anything worth having, it takes work and it takes time. Mm -hmm. Putting in that energy, when you have a big dream or a big vision for your life, it's not an overnight thing, right? It takes that grit. It takes that determination. It takes that persistence to continue to persevere despite how things look. But we have to call out that discouragement so that we're not ignoring a key piece that could keep people from accomplishing their goals. We all want our goals and desires to manifest in a nice linear fashion, right? We go from point A to point B to C to D and, you know, all the way to Z mm -hmm. uh, in 24 hours or less. And, you know, that only works in an infomercial. Mm -hmm. In real life, things do take time, as Kiana said. Right. The path of life, our soul journey, is not a linear path. Mm -hmm. There are twists and turns. There are zigs and zags. Hills and valleys. Exactly. And if you are not anticipating that, you can get kind of knocked off your center when a zig comes, when you expected a zag, or a hill comes when you wanted a valley. So we have to recognize that our paths are not always straight. Mm -hmm. And time is a factor. Mm -hmm. Yes, we teach and we've taught and we've shared the notion of believe that you receive it now. Mm -hmm. In fact, to take it even deeper, you should believe it is already done. So it's right. past tense. Mm -hmm. That is true and that is correct. And that is the mindset that you hold to. That is the image that you see in your mind's eye. Mm -hmm. But there's still the physical dimension that we have to, that we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. And in this physical dimension, we have time. Time has to pass. 
right? And there are going to be things we have to do here in the natural that will continue to propel us and bring us to our expected end. Right. Now, unfortunately, we don't know how much time it's going to take mm -hmm. for our vision to manifest. Some things take a short amount of time. Right. Other things take longer. But we have to know and expect that. So we don't get discouraged too easily. Mm -hmm. It would be completely foolish if my wife tells me that she's pregnant, right? And for me to expect the baby to be here in a couple weeks. It's like, what's up? Come on. Right. Like, well, you Where's told me at? you were pregnant. Where is it at? <laughs> well, I'm only in my first trimester. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, from a natural standpoint, we know that doesn't make any sense. It takes mm -hmm. nine months. Mm -hmm. for a human baby to form in the womb before it's time for the birth. So we accept it in that context. Mm -hmm. Or if you're gardening, it takes so many days, it takes so many weeks for different fruit and different vegetables to, to blossom and bloom. And many times in most situations, you know that timeline so you can appropriate your expectations properly. Right. Right? But... When you don't know the timeline, when it comes to your dreams or your visions, that's where we get, a, get to be a bit more rocky. And we always underestimate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we think it's supposed to happen like that. Tomorrow I'm supposed to be rich. Right. And uh, not necessarily, right? It's not going to happen that quickly. Uh, not and everything. I've, I've, yeah, and obviously there are some things that will happen quickly. Right. You know, so we're not saying expect things to take a long time. Right. You know, that's not what we're saying. But when you're living in the end, and if you see it as it's already done, no matter how, what things may come before these eyes, it's already done. You're not in that anxious anticipation. So that when things may happen that appear to be discouragements, you just continue plowing through. And now, and we'll be real, you know, for me, if, if I have discouragements, there may be some tears that may come out and, <sighs> some deep breathing that needs to happen or journaling or whatever it may be, but go through your process however you need to to come out on the other side. I don't do the tears, <laughs> <laughs> but I have my own coping as well. You know, maybe sometimes I get quiet or, you know, I, I uh, do a lot of meditating. So I, I meditate in, in the morning uh, first thing and I meditate before bed in the evening and I, I really use those times to reflect and think and kind of settle myself uh, but we all have those those things throughout our day it can be micro things like small things you expected somebody to call you and they didn't um, or it can be bigger things right you thought your uh, you were gonna get your big break at this next job or something and that and that didn't happen mm -hmm. does that mean it's not going to happen no See, and that's where we make the mental error. Right. We think because it didn't happen in this moment, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And that is false. That is a false conclusion. Right. That is just the discouragement talking. Mm -hmm. When those things happen, when you hit one of those moments where your expectations weren't met and you're starting to feel discouraged, mm -hmm. that is not the time to quit. Right. Unfortunately, that's the most common response. Yeah. Is people quit and give up. Right. But that's not the time to quit. That's the time to reevaluate. That's the time to recalibrate. Mm -hmm. That's the time to look back and say, okay, what did I do that worked? Mm -hmm. And what did I do that didn't work? Right. Okay. And then get creative, change a few things around, and then keep going. Mm -hmm. But you don't just give up and quit. You know, I, I was listening to Tyler Perry get, uh, tell his story, you know, last year or, you know, within the last year, you know, he opened his new studio in Atlanta, huge studio. OK, and his goal is to be, you know, one of the biggest producers of movies and things like that, bigger than Hollywood. That's one of his goals. Well, he wasn't always like that. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he was saying that early on in his career as an actor, and as a playwright and as a producer, there were times he would put on a show in the theater and there would be maybe 10 people that show up. Yeah. And all 10 were his relatives. <laughs> and he had to get let them in free. <laughs> okay? So he, had, he owed the box office at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. Instead of them paying him, right, 
over and above what the seats were. No, he had to pay. Okay? And this didn't just happen one time. Yeah. This was happening over t years mm -hmm. before he got his big break, before Medea, you know, the Medea series stage plays really took off. Mm -hmm. It was many years, mm -hmm. 10, 15 years of him grinding, right? Um, on the on the lower theater circuits right. before he got his big break. So, you know, we look at him now and we say, oh my gosh, he's got all this money. I want to be like you. Movies. You know, right. But we never see the, the behind the scenes when they almost gave up and quit. Mm -hmm. You better know he had some discouraging feelings. And he was crying some tears. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let's be honest. Which is okay. Right. But... You know, if he would have given up then, mm -hmm. he would not be where he is now. Mm -hmm. So he still had that dream. He still had that vision back then. Mm -hmm. His immediate circumstances did not say that's where you're going. Right. And if he believed what his eyes told him, he would have never achieved the things he's achieving now. Mm -hmm. So when you feel discouragement, it can be extremely tempting to quit. Mm -hmm. But you can't quit. Right. You recalibrate. And I can give you multiple stories. Steve Harvey is another one that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. When he tells his story, you know, he did his first stand-up comedy show in an amateur night. Kind of impromptu. He goes up. He wins $50 in his first amateur night. And that, that was the moment he knew he was going to be a stand-up comedian. So he goes the next day and quits his job. Okay, that was probably a bad decision. And then, <laughs> you know, from that moment forward, he went, he went all the way to living in his car for three years, homeless, mm -hmm. before things started to change for him. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, you turn on TV, Steve Harvey's everywhere. But back then, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. And so we see these people, we, hear that we, we see them how they are now, and we start the comparison game. We start comparing ourselves to people who we have perceived who have made it and look at our lives and start feeling sheepish, start doubting, start questioning, and all of that, all of those negative thoughts. But we don't know their story. We don't know what it took them to get to where they are now. And who knows what your story is going to be like. Doesn't mean it's going to be hardship or anything like that. But we do know that you have to keep going. We have to acknowledge the disappointment recognize that it's there because when you call it out for what it is it shines a light on it and it exposes it and when we expose those deep feelings it helps it to not rule our lives it's when we try to hide those feelings or act like they're not there when that really destroys us so we want to acknowledge that yeah i'm feeling discouraged right now call it out but we keep going use that as motivation to continue plugging along so we can achieve the dreams that are there to serve others and make a difference in this world anything worth having is worth waiting for mm -hmm. as the old saying goes mm -hmm. here's another one it takes 25 years to be an overnight success mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if it's exactly 25 years, but you understand. Yeah. We see people, we think they made it overnight, and no. So for you, whatever your dream is, no matter how big, no matter how small, it doesn't matter. If it's your dream, if it's your desire, it has to be strong enough mm -hmm. to sustain you yeah. through those times of discouragement. Mm -hmm. There are going to be days where it feels like you're going literally the opposite direction to your dream. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Keep going. Right. Keep moving forward. Baby steps count too. Right. It's all building your story. Right. Mm -hmm. It's building your story mm -hmm. so that somebody will want to interview you one day on Good Morning America. Yeah. And you can tell them about, you know, how you saw this video by Andrew and Kiana <laughs> on something called the Soul Journey Project. 
and they encouraged me to keep going. I was ready to give up and quit. Yeah. I was about to tap out. <sighs> but they reached out to me through the video mm -hmm. and said, hold on, brother, believe. <laughs> My I sister. Just can't hey. give up now. Sing it, girl. <laughs> But yeah, we gotta keep going. Keep You've going. come too far. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna give up now. Mm -mm. You're probably closer to your destination than your starting point. Right. It would be, I mean, how horrible would it be to, you know, look, if you could see a map representation of your life's, your soul's journey. Mm hmm. And you see that you gave up just a couple steps before your breakthrough. Yeah. You get up to heaven and they like, look, he was you right were this there. close. That would, that would probably be, you know, another disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to be in that situation. <sighs> so your action step is to hold on. Believe and keep moving forward towards your towards your dream. Yeah. Do not give up. Mm -mm. You have to have faith. What is faith? When desire, belief, and expectancy come together. That's faith. So we love you all. Mm -hmm. We're in this together. We are in this together. We're, we are believing for some things too. You're not alone. Mm -hmm. We have dreams, yep. right? This channel, right? These videos are a part of our dream mm -hmm. and we're taking steps towards it as well. Mm -hmm. And you get to see it live and in action. Right. As they say, we're eating our own cooking. Yeah. I listen to my vid these videos myself to encourage myself. Yeah, me too. And as we're talking, we're, we're seriously talking to ourselves as well and keeping that in mind because it holds us accountable. We can't tell you to keep going and then we give up. Right. No, that's not who we are. So we are on this journey together. Mm -hmm. This is a community. Mm -hmm. It's us, but it's you. And we're one. If you understand the things that we've shared to this point, mm -hmm. we are one. So we encourage you. We appreciate you. And if you are getting value out of these videos, we ask that you subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell so you're aware of each video as soon as it comes out. Hit the like button. Mm -hmm. Share with others you think could benefit from this information. Check out our other social media channels on Instagram and Facebook at Soul, at Journey, Soul Journey Project. Project. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And as always, folks, we encourage you to, to take, take the step. step.